In this paper, we present a shielding mechanism that guarantees ISO verified human safety while training and deploying reinforcement learning agents on manipulators. In our reinforcement learning setting, a six degree of freedom manipulator has to share its workspace with the human worker. Hereby, the human repeatedly walks up to the working table on which the robot is mounted to perform a task. Simultaneously, the agent has to learn to move from an initial position to a random goal joint position while evading the human worker. To achieve these goals, we propose a formally verifiable safety shield that guarantees the safety of all humans in the environment. Our safety shield ensures that the robot is fully stopped before any human can touch it. To achieve this strong safety criterion while still being able to maneuver close to humans, we need to verify the robot trajectory at a high frequency. Our reinforcement learning agent, however, outputs actions at a low frequency to make long-term decisions like moving around a human to reach its goal. Combining a low-frequency reinforcement learning agent with our high-frequency formal verification leads to effective path planning in highly dynamic scenarios while being safe at all times. The main mechanism of our verification is a reachability analysis. For this, we determine the entire reachable set that the human and robot can occupy in a given time frame. The reachable set of the human upper body during the task execution is shown here in yellow, and the robot set is shown in green. When these two reachable sets intersect, we bring the robot to a stop. We first want to highlight the difference in performance when training with and without our safety shield. In our first experiments, we trained the robot to reach randomized goals. Hereby, both agents showed a similar success rate for reaching the goal. However, only our safe agent brings the robot to a safe state before any collision with the human could occur. Our safety shield not only prevents unsafe collisions, but also improves the training process of the agent in certain scenarios. To show this, we set up a task where the fastest pass from the start to the goal position would result in a collision with the human. Therefore, the agent has to learn to take a longer path to the goal to evade the human. The following videos show test runs of the agents in increasing states of the training. After five epochs, both agents learn to move to the left. The baseline agent repeatedly crashes into the human while the safe agent stops before the collision. By epoch 50, the safe agent learned its first evading maneuver. Around epoch 100, the baseline moves away from the human and therefore never comes close to the goal anymore. At epoch 150, the safe agent consistently dodges the human and reaches its goal. By the end of the training, the safe agent reached the goal without having to stop for the human. The baseline, however, did not learn to reach the goal at all. 